Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Today's lesson is called Let's Make a Comic. But before we begin, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. My name is Jordan Myron. I'm from Minnesota in the United States. You can see on the map in red where I live. I arrived in Israel in August last year. I'm an artist and an art teacher, and I love to do yoga. All right, let's get started. What are we going to do today? First, I'm going to ask you, who is your favorite character? Then you will learn how to create a short story and how to tell your story with pictures and with words. Then we'll learn the different parts of a comic and the parts of a story. And then you will create your own comic. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to create a character, talk about the parts of a story, create a short story with a problem and a solution, and tell a story using pictures and words. What do you need for this class? You need colored pencils, a pencil, and a notebook or other paper. Take one minute, gather your materials, and then I'll see you back here. All right, do you have everything you need? Great, let's get started. Before we begin, answer this question in your notebook. Who is your favorite character and why? Take a minute just to answer this question. All right, did you answer the question? I'll tell you about my favorite character. My favorite character is Mabel from Gravity Falls because she is funny and has a lot of creative ideas. Now, let's read a comic. Garfield. He kind of looks sad, doesn't he? John comes in and he says, why so glum, Garfield? Look on the bright side. You have so much to be happy about. Plenty of food. Hmm. 
Okay, that's about it. Garfield smiles, and he says, That's not a bad list. Now, just think about these questions. What happened in this comic? And was there a problem? Before we answer those questions, we're just going to look a little bit at the parts of a comic. We have the title, when something happens but the characters don't talk about it, we have captions on the bottom or the top of the boxes that are called frames. Then for talking, we have three kinds of bubbles. We have speech bubbles, thinking bubbles, and shouting bubbles for when someone is talking very, very loud. Now, using these parts of the comic, label numbers one, two, three, four, and five. Take two minutes and label the parts of the comic. Did you finish labeling the comic? Let's check your answers real quick. We have the frame for number one. Number two is John's speech bubble. Number three is Garfield's thinking bubble. Then above the duck, we have a caption and next to the duck, a shouting bubble. Now that we know the parts of the comic, you're going to make a character. Think of a character. In your notebook, draw this character. Some tips to help you draw your character. Start with a shape. Can do a circle, a triangle, or any interesting shape that you want. Then just add face, arms, and legs. Then you will write three or four sentences 
about your character. Here are some questions to help you write about your character. What is their name? What do they like? What don't they like? What makes them laugh? And what makes them mad? Here's a character that I made called Cat. To answer the questions, I said he likes to make trouble. He doesn't like people. Breaking things makes him laugh. And he gets mad when someone yells at him for breaking things. To draw Cat, I just drew a shape, then added his face, ears, and a tail. Take five minutes to draw your character, then answer these questions about them.
Did you finish making your character? Are they interesting? Did you enjoy that? Now, let's make a story about your character. Remember our question before? What is the problem in Garfield's comic? What was the problem? The problem was Garfield was sad. How does the character solve this problem? Well, John comes in and he says, look on the bright side. That means look at what's happy around us. And then he says, we have plenty of food. He thinks, oh, well, that's it. But that's enough for Garfield. And look at him in the last frame. He's happy because Garfield loves food. So the problem was Garfield was sad. And the solution or the answer to the problem was John said, we have plenty of food. And Garfield was happy. So that's the basic way to write a story, is you have a problem or a question and an answer to that problem or question. Now, in your notebook, you will decide and choose what is your problem or question and in six parts, create an answer to that problem or question. Here is an example. There is a cat that likes to make trouble. That's kind of a problem. He says, I love when I'm home alone. I can go where I want and do what I want and no one can stop me. It is a problem. The cat breaks things, destroys things. And then the solution or answer to that problem is his human, his owner comes home and then he stops breaking things. Now, take four minutes, decide what is your problem or question, then just like I did, Make a story with six parts about that problem or question.
Did you finish your story? Great. Now you're going to make your own comic. Here's an example of my story and my character, Cat, that I made to show you. We see in the first frame a cat who looks like he likes to make trouble. Then he says, I love when I'm home alone. I can go where I want. I can do what I want. And no one can stop me. What a mischievous cat. What a cat that likes to make trouble. Then the human comes home and in the caption it says, this is what it means to live with a cat. I showed you an example of a comic, but now take a few minutes to get some more ideas. Use Google to find a comic that you like and answer these questions in your notebook about it. Try searching for cool comics or fun comics for kids. This is just to help you find more ideas for things you can do with your comic. When you find your comic, look at it and ask yourself, what parts of the comic do you see? Do you see frames, captions, speech bubbles? Ask yourself, what happens in the comic? And what do you like about the comic? Maybe it's the colors. Maybe it's the characters. Take four minutes and find some ideas and answer these questions.
Did you find some ideas that you want to use in your comic? Great! What did we learn today? We learned about the parts of a comic. We learned how to make a character. And we learned how to make a short story with a problem and solution. Now, it's your turn to create your own comic. Start by drawing six frames on your paper and writing your title of your comic. Then, use the character you created and the story you wrote to make your comic. You can use your colored pencils and any other art supplies that you have to make it look amazing. Take 10 minutes and have fun.
All right, did you finish your comic? Did you have fun? I hope so. You can now create your very own character. You can create a story with a problem and a solution. You can talk about the parts of a story. And you can tell a story using pictures and words. If you feel like you can really do these, go ahead and write these sentences in your notebooks. With these skills, now you can create a comic anytime that you want. Thanks for watching and have a great day.